Olive Ann Beach was born on September 25, 1903, in Waverly, Kansas, and is referred to as the First Lady of Aviation for her numerous awards and citations. Beach began in the aviation business as a bookkeeper and secretary for Travel Air Manufacturing Company and was later promoted to office manager for the president of the company, Walter Beach. Travel Air merged with Curtis Wright Corporation, and in 1930, Olive and Walter were married and had two daughters together. In 1932, Beach's husband started Beach Aircraft Company in Wichita, Kansas, and acted as president while she was secretary treasurer. Beach always found ways to promote the company and suggested using a female pilot, Louise Thadden, to fly the company's Beechcraft Staggerwing in the 1936 Transcontinental Bendex Trophy Race to prove that anyone could fly the aircraft. Thadden won the race, defeating all her male competitors. By 1940, her husband fell ill, so she took leadership and pushed for the company's continual success. During World War II, Beach Aircraft Company produced more than 7,400 aircraft used to train navigators in the war. Beach's husband died in 1950, and she was officially made president and chair of the board, becoming the first woman to head a major aircraft company. In the late 1950s, Beach Aircraft Company developed the Beechcraft King Air, Beechcraft Baron, built pressurized equipment and chirogenic loading and transfer systems for Gemini, Apollo, and lunar module spacecraft, and more. The company, under her guidance, adopted the gas turbine power plant to aviation airplanes, created military derivatives for military pilot training, and developed new designs for aircraft. Beach was also the president of the Women's International Association of Aeronautics and was appointed to national boards by three American presidents. She retired in 1982 and died in 1993 in her Wichita, Kansas home. Beach was a strong leader, and under her direction, the company produced thousands of innovative aircraft, contributed to NASA's space explorations, aided the war with mass production of aircraft, and helped to lead and expand the company from 10 to 10,000 employees.